So, yeah, if you clicked on this video, um, you can tell it's about uh, building a guitar or designing a guitar using this software Plasticity, which I've been learning recently, and I think that it's a really impressive tool, and it's a tool that I, I think has a lot of value, not only for like concept design and art uh, in the CG world and, you know, in the same tool set as Blender, but I think that... Uh, it could be used for by a lot of makers for 3D printing and CNC machine design. Um, even if it's just for the design, it's an easy software to learn. And so it enables you to do your design. As you can see here, you know, I'm going through an iterative process of this design without actually doing any physical cutting or, you know, it's the measure twice, cut once. But with the design side of things, it's, you know, noodle and doodle a hundred times before you spend any time actually cutting up wood um and it's going to enable you to get to a design that you're very happy with um before you start uh spending resources to actually make the thing um and yeah plasticity it's i think especially where you need to use the tools for design with stuff like drawing these lines and uh you know doing simple extrusions and, and bevels it's a really easy tool to use and so i think for makers if you're a maker and you're out there watching this video i think plasticity is a, a really exciting tool for the design side of things and then a lot of these to uh, a lot of the output you'll be able to bring into cad software using uh converting to cnc files or dxf um or just having stls that you can use uh for 3d printing um but yeah like being able to do all the design iteratively and quickly um is is an awesome uh, resource to have available because you know you can go back and forth like in this video I, I tried to cut it down and get it get it to be digestible and fairly quick but I left in a lot of the iterative stuff to show off um, the fact that you know design is a process it's a it's a back and forth and when you're doing stuff physically that back and forth feels like it's obvious because also significant parts of the back and forth will be instructed by what's available and what's possible um, but digitally as well, you have that opportunity to do that without uh, spending too much time or resources on something and then having to, you know, do it all over again because you hate how the design came out. So, yeah, I'm just cutting up this guitar. I had this idea. I wanted to make a, you know, a, a sort of sci-fi sci guitar, but something that you could build and something that um a maker could totally be doing in their in their workshop i don't have a workshop I, I just got my office and so everything i do is digital but um i think this design it's not far off i i took took the time to try and make everything to think through everything in terms of the possibility i spent some time doing research um in guitar making stuff and looking at all of the the different elements that that could be brought into a guitar and that would have to be, you know, where you'd have to leave room. Um, I still threw in my own sci-fi flair and flavor like this, but at the same time, you, you, you could wire up a knob that you stuck right there and drill a hole through the body the same way you would to connect it to the pickups um, with any other knob. You know, all this stuff should be possible. Um, and the beauty of it is it's a, it's a pretty unique design that I was able to get to with this iterative process where I'm, if I were to make a guitar at the end of this, it would just be the one guitar. It's not like I had to iterate and make five guitars to create a unique feeling and a unique style. Um, yeah, I created that hole there. CAD, it, it, it's so good because the way the Booleans work and how they enable you to think about what 
needs to be split into parts and how they fit together. And so yeah, that that's that's basically the goal with this video and it's just to show off plasticity and hopefully inspire some creators to pick it up and use it as a tool for physical stuff because I like making things digitally but there is nothing like having a physical thing at the end of it. Um, I can do all the renders I want but it won't compare to be able to, being able to hold the product in your hands. So yeah, uh, thanks for checking out the video.